China. Now, I don't know, you might be aware of the background of Inkyodon. Suffered cancer, came back from cancer. He had throat cancer when he was at university. Had to stop Taekwondo. Chemotherapy, recovery. This was about two and a half years ago. And now he's back as world rank number one. God, you know, that's ama amazing for him even to be here, yeah. let alone to be in the semi-finals, back at his best. Crazy. Impressive, so. impressive, as you say. So he's been through a lot in his time. And Sun Hong is going to have to go through a lot to get past him because the Korean on form. And that one is on its way in just a couple of moments. Ladies and gentlemen, we continue with the semi finals in the men over 80 kilograms division. The first match is ready to go. In blue, representing Korea. Well, here he comes, Inkyo Don. It's the first mistake he's made, steps out of the light into the dark. As a little smile for himself there. Is it a bit weird coming into the light sometimes? You, you know which way to turn? Yeah, and I think, you know, especially because it's a new venue, you don't really know, sometimes you don't even know where you're going, but he seems happy to be here. <laughs> I don't really know where I'm going most days of my life, let alone in competition, so... the second athlete for this match. In red, representing China, Sun Hongi. Oh, here he comes, Sun Hongi. A couple of bronze medals at the Grand Prix level. Plenty of success at the open circuit, but this is the first time making it up into the top level here. Ranked at 31. Lots to prove in this one. A couple of good wins, particularly against Ivan Traskovic and Dimitri Shokan. And in terms of the height difference, well, you're going to see it just now. The man from China standing at two metres tall, which is about 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, Ian Kyodon, 190, which is about 6 foot 1. So there's a big, big difference. Yeah, sometimes on the TV you can't quite yeah. see the height difference, but, you know, when you're sitting down here, you can see just how tall he is. I got into a lift yesterday and the Chinese team came in behind me and I was like <laughs> in a forest of huge... And I'm like 6'3", but these guys are massive, massive guys you know can he use that height difference to his advantage Producer or will it be the timing of being good on and before they get started here of course that the Koreans have got that ability to just almost freeze you on the spot they make you think they're not going to move and then yeah I think you know if, if anyone can deal with them tall height it's the Koreans they're so good at moving so good at picking the time so it'll just be about getting that distance right and and making so sure he works when he's in it. Of top forma. No question about it. The battle for distance. Sun Hong Ki, the taller of the two, in red. Yeah. And Kyodon, well, he's got a fantastic back kick. He's got that timing. Yeah. But loves to fake with the shoulders and the head just to draw out any response. Nice little short, sharp shot on the inside. Yeah, we've been watching this competition and a lot of back shots have been scoring, so definitely going to start working on that when I get home. <laughs> Note to self, get that in the plan. It's a fight, but he stands there as if he might as well be walking down the high street. He's just going to, yeah, okay. Yeah, you can see his personality just when he comes out, you know, he's smiling and he enjoys it. You can tell he thrives on, you know, the, the bigger fights. As you see, the bigger fights and the bigger man, Sun Hung Gi, caught in his shell a little bit here. Rubs his front leg to the face, there's the big man in red. Oh. Yeah, you can tell they just side each other up a little bit, getting a feel for it. And then maybe in the next couple of rounds, you know, you might see some sparks. Yeah, the question is, sparks could fly at the moment. Slow and steady stuff. Taller fighters, is it a different mindset for you? Is it different tactically? Yeah, it is tough, um, obviously, when they've got that leg on you. Because even if, like, they're, you're in the distance, they can kick you and you can't kick them. So you've got to Seems a bit unfair. I know, yeah, but... You just got to work on like staying out of the distance and getting in and working. But you know it is tough and it's something I'm constantly you know, still working on and improving. Yeah, that for distance and battle for proximity. Of course, Sun Hong trying to work away here. Kyo Don, as ever patient, taking his time. 
тежки са и имат изключително силни удари с трека. Наистина да пожелавам да попада под обсега на ударите им. As we click towards the end of the round here, not much to report in terms of highlights. So we're going to take a little rest. Jay's been working super hard. He's got a cappuccino here, I think, at the end of a little drink. I know you sorted me out there, didn't you? That's it. I'll put that in the invoice, don't worry. So all to fight for in this one. In terms of the finals so far, from Lauren Williams. She's made it through. She'll go against Ruth Bagby. A bit of music in the background. You liking well. that? Yeah, not too bad. Do you know what I was thinking? Obviously, Bianca's brother is like a, like a, a major DJ and you know artist and all the rest of it. Why don't we get him to do some sort of playlist for Taekwondo? I know he's probably too busy. Yeah. Isn't he? <laughs> we pay the big bucks for Taekwondo, as you know. Yeah. Of which your uh, seven pounds fifty, I'll post it to you. So. Well, I've had my cappuccino. So. <laughs> You've had it. You've had it all. <laughs> You've had your bonus. <laughs> Well, who can get the big bonus? Of course, Ruth Bagby. Going for the five thousand dollar prize. Well, Ari not Russia. 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 Направиха чудеса и в момента са една от суперсилите и в този спорт. Крин коуч ще си, don't go fast, just take your time. Отново по-активен е китайца. Опитва се с своя по-добър обсек. Backkick stepping through, back headshot. Последния момент тигна ръката си, не е че това момче да е техника за три точки. A whisker away from the jaw of Ikyo Don. Like you said, he's so tall, he's still standing right in the distance, like he's not shying away. Това е плана на тренера от... Um, he's happy to, to fight if he's ready for it. It's funny because some people do that, you know, Wu Jing Yu, Bianca does it as well, you do it. It's the ability to just, even though you're in a dangerous place, you're still calm. Yeah, I think it's just about being ready when they do come, being ready to react. And then obviously because you're in that distance, if you're not ready, you're just going to get picked up. Not trying to pick them off, as you say, not ready. But sometimes it can make them make mistakes, because like you said, they can feel you there, so then they'll, they'll do something they're not quite ready for. No question about it. The question of readiness just now, 45 seconds left in the first. Nothing to report in terms of you know, major highlights. But if you don't, well, in the last Grand Prix in Chiba, he waited until the, literally the last second, I don't know if you saw it, in the heavyweights with a little hook kick to the head against Iran, literally on the bell. That's what made the difference. So he's happy to wait. I've seen that with a lot of Chinese fighters. They're happy to be like one point up, or like you said, even it being nil-nil, and just sneaking that shot. As you say, the sneaky man. Kong Yu Yi Su. Just happy to wait for it. Ten seconds left. In Kyo Don trying to battle forward. Sun Hong Gi. He's eyeballing the man in blue. Into the third round. This one's going to go. Well, normal service resumed. 0-0 on the board. Now, we spoke a lot about Inkyo Don, obviously the shorter man and working all the rest of it. When you're taller than someone else, is it a question of concentration? What's the, the process that you go through with that? I is it easy? To when I'm taller than oh, of course. <laughs> I just realised. I'm quite sure if it is. Not sure, but average, I'll say. But um, but yeah, it, it's definitely easier because you've got that range and, you know, you just feel like you can hit him in the head so much easier. So. Yeah, so I don't know why he's not getting any headshots yet. Exactly, <laughs> we tried with this one. It flicked around the corner. But it was to no avail. So here we go, third and final round in this one. It'd be interesting to see how they change it up now or someone's going to take a risk. No risk, no reward, and there was, of course, a spot in the final. Who's going to take the risk? Question, Jade. I know you're not a gambler, you're not down the casino with, with Bianca and Aaron, but who's your money on in this one? Who would you fancy? I'm going to say... And if you get it wrong, you're sacked. That's the only thing to do. I, I reckon Korea is going to... Just pick it. Got the calmness. Yeah. Yeah. Got the Reckon a little back leg in the body, maybe. Like it. Well, close. Back leg. We will indeed. 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 Back leg. We will ind
Електронната екипировка е втора генерация. Предишният вариант от точки са бляза по полезно. Три точки за кореца. Този път неговия ръст е му фокус на много. Точно в този момент чакаше Кьо Дони. За това той е номер две в олимпийската ранг листа. За да печели подобни матчове, които на първ повед изглежда, че не вървя добре за него. Още една изключителна техника за четири точки. Ето го дичагито, за което говорихме. Първи рунд. Плана си се изпълнява перфектно. Кореца дръпна. И сега Сув няма голям избор, освен да натиска напред. Нямаше тук излизане. Много близко беше до линията. Киотолин. 40 атака от този път ятичкова за Суин. Вкара удар в главата. Кедоин се опитал. Заборавен път да вкара дичаги, за път се провали. И по това поне е възможния начин. И получи точка още едно от тези на Бакентен и Гросинг файт на Бузмен. Бой фора и Кьодон на дефенсив. Сенхонги флекс върна в телефейс. Осо клос. Пробай Дон Чаги от двата страни. Не става и не става. Роинал гънс блейзен аут. Дополнителен рунд. Ще бъде и това 15 секунди за двамата си зател и трябва да ще бъде да видим какво е китайца. Аз имам много шанс да се върна към китайците. Аз имам много шанс да се върна към китайците. Аз имам много шанс да се върна към китайците. Аз имам много шанс да се върна към китайците. Аз имам много шанс да се върна към китайците. Аз имам много шанс да се върна към китайците. Well done, he could run into the final, so now he, well it did, as you said, it sparked into life right at the end there. Yeah, sometimes, like I said, because like both athletes are really good and they're wary of each other, it can just be a bit stalemate. Indeed, battle of the stalemate by Ikyo Don, sweating for once, he usually just walks out as if he's just, yeah, whatever. So here he goes into another final, who's going to join him there? Brazil. Or indeed Croatia. Mike Consequera or Ivan Sapina. We get to find out in this one. Grand Prix number three of the season. And speaking of the season, Jay Jones, what's your own assessment of how things have gone for? You've taken a couple of rests, trying to is it to keep yourself fresh for the for the big one next year? Yeah, I think um, obviously my main aim of this year was the World Championships. Obviously. Well done on that by the way. Thank you. So happy to win that. Um, Obviously, it being in Manchester and the fact that I've never won a world before, so just the fact that I've ticked everything off my list now. So then now my sights are just purely set on Tokyo, so everything is about practicing 